the Eagles report, and today, football season begins. You want a war? You're going to get one. What was that? We had no time for one more play. We had an opportunity to win that game every game. But the referee screwed us. The brother screwed us. I'm upset, but the brother screwed us. At least they fought back and tried. Only Cowboys game. Yeah, you, 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 you literally the brother screwed us. The brother screwed us. We had, we had one more opportunity for one more play. Dallas still stinks. Yo, by the way, kick things back here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So today is the day. The day that the Eagles and the NFL season officially begins. When the players report, it is football season, baby. And I've been waiting for this for months, and it's finally here. I'm so glad. And we got a lot of things going on, not just with the Eagles, but in the NFL. Still, no word on Kelly Green. What the heck is going on? We're going to get into it all in a second. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled. Then you'll see what I mean later in the season. Uh, Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, thank you once again for your support. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Because it gets, it gets really crazy here during football season. We do a lot of live streams. We're going to be pretty much streaming Every day the next two weeks, we stream every Eagles game, including their preseason games. Plus, we do division rivalry streams, a lot of primetime games. It's very, very busy. You definitely do not want to miss it. Now, I do have to apologize to everybody for today. Um, I was planning on streaming. I was supposed to stream, but I just, I just couldn't get a long enough break from uh, work to come home and stream. I think if you know if I'm gonna do a stream, it, at minimum it's got to be at the least 45 minutes. I have about 20 minutes of lunch, uh, so I'm choosing to do this video instead. Uh, however, I will be streaming tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and uh, it'll be Wednesday through Friday, and then I'll be streaming all next week except August 2nd. I can't stream on August 2nd because I have uh, plans that I have to take care of some things. Um, so. Uh, every day starting tomorrow, except for August 2nd, we will be streaming. Once again, I apologize about today. I just, I just couldn't get away from work. One day when I could be full-time doing this, if that ever happens, uh, then that won't be a problem anymore. But until then, uh, sometimes work just, you know, it just won't, things won't work out. Uh, but I do have, I have made arrangements starting tomorrow through Friday uh, and that's covered. So we are good to go the rest of the week. Now, uh, a few things we got to talk about. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the Eagles today. Uh, they brought back a friend. They brought back somebody that we liked very, very much. If you guys remember, Dion Kane, um, he was with us. He had a really good uh training camp for preseason the year he played with us uh he went he played in the usfl and he wound up being the mvp uh, of the usfl of the, i guess of the championship game and uh he is back with the eagles uh, aaron wilson wrote this earlier today he wrote pound eagles are working out at usfl champion at usfl stallions wide receiver Deion kane Prairie League source, MVP of the USFL championship game after catching three touchdown passes. Former Clemson uh, player, previous stint with the Eagles. And then it says, update, Pound Eagles are signing at USFL Stallions championship game MVP wide receiver Deion Kane. Uh, yeah, I, I liked Deion Kane when he was with us. I liked him in preseason. I think he was on our practice squad for a while. I, I think it's great, great. Bring him in. Uh, can can he win a spot or anything like that? I don't think so. But uh, for camp and stuff, hey, I thought he earned it before. I'm happy to have him back. I, I, I like the kid. Now, another big signing just took place. We need to talk about this. Shout out to my guy, Jordan Schultz. Uh, great guy. Thank you for sending me this. He sent me this saying, breaking Trevon Diggs has agreed to a mega contract extension with the C 
Couch Boys, per sources, finalizing a five-year extension worth $97 million, $21.2 million signing bonus, max payout value over $104 million. <laughs> Diggs earned first-team All-Pro honors, as I mute these mother humpers, uh, 2021 at the NFL with 11 interceptions and is now one of the highest paid defensive backs in the NFL. I mean, <laughs> pay everybody, Dallas. Pay them all. Because in another year, you're in big, big trouble. You're going to have to pay Lamb. You're going to have to play Parsons. You're going to have to pay Pollard. You're going to have to restructure uh, Dak Prescott. The Couch Boys are in trouble. See, they don't have... They don't have the little guy. They don't have the little guy with the Napoleon hat, the pocket pencil protector, the big thick glasses, calculating the calculations of the cornbread to work the cap. They don't have the cap magician the Philadelphia Eagles have. Uh, but in, in all seriousness, I mean, I think Dallas really, ha you don't have a choice. You kind of have to, like, he's a guy that you have to extend and you have to sign. Um, but it's an interesting dynamic because Zach Martin is holding out. Will they be able to go and get him, ha make him happy now? Or is it going to be a situation where he's a long holdout? Cowboys got a lot of salary cap problems. You know, they, they talk about what we had to go through uh, this previous year. They're getting ready to go through it. The only th difference is, is they don't have the picks that we had and they don't have Howie Roseman. And that's a bad combination for anybody, you know. Um, and listen, Trevon Diggs is a is a good corner. I, I'm not I'm not gonna say he's not a good corner. I don't think he's as good as Darius Slay, but I think he's a good corner. And the Cowboys really, in all seriousness, they had no choice. They you you can't lose a guy like that. So they they did what they had to do. And speaking of corners, James Bradbury not on the top 100 list. How is that? even possible he was one of the best corners last year it's absolutely insane to me i think people look at james bradbury and they say and they well they remember the super bowl and the penalty and 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 they come on they, they get down on him but the truth is if you look at what he did last year for the eagles i mean uh, there were times where teams were not throwing especially after week two versus minnesota when slay just shuts down justin jefferson on monday night Nobody threw it. Nobody threw at Slay for weeks. For weeks. They went after Bradbury. And Bradbury held his own. He had a lot of work, a lot of challenges, and he held his own. James Bradbury belongs on that top 100 list. There's no question about it. And speaking of, of, of another guy that, that got ripped off is my man Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith is number 100 on the top 100. He's 100. They have DeAndre Hopkins higher than him on the list. Listen, DeAndre Hopkins, maybe a few years ago, uh, I don't see how he is now. I don't see how some of these guys are above Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith is so underrated, it isn't even funny. It isn't even funny. A lot of guys on our team are underrated. Hassan Reddick is another guy that is underrated. I mean, here's a guy, the first time in NFL history, goes out and has double-digit sacks with three different teams three years in a row, and, and he gets overlooked. But Devontae Smith, mark my words, write this down, clip this mother humper. Devontae Smith will be a top five wide receiver when this year is over. He is going to have a monster year. I love the kid. He deserves it. And, uh, I, you know, it just, it's just frustrating to me that, th that these guys get so overlooked. Uh, 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 you know, if Devontae Smith played on any other team, imagine if Devontae Smith was on the Dallas Cowboys. He would be the greatest wide receiver since Jerry Rice. He would be Jerry Rice reincarnated. But because he's on the Eagles, oh, he's just, we'll just put him in the top 100. Get the hell out of here. I don't believe it. I don't buy it at all. It's a bunch of garbage. Now, final thing I want to talk about, and I, I will have another video uh, later on uh, this evening uh, when I get home from work. Uh, this is kind of it, replacing the fact that I couldn't stream today uh, because I felt bad and I have about just enough time to make this video, grab my camera and phone, run to work, edit it at work, and then upload it. But um, I really wish I could have streamed. I, I, I do. I, I, I love doing streams with you guys. It's been so long. I had so much fun the last few days doing it. Uh, but we'll, we'll be back at it tomorrow. So as you know, today, 
the Eagles are reporting for camp. And there was pictures, they had a little video clip of uh, Jordan Mulata and um, Landon Dickerson, Cam Jurgens, and they're all wearing these overalls, right? What are these things, are they like Oshkosh Bagosh or something like that? What are those things called? But here's a picture of them in overalls. That looks awesome. I totally want one of those outfits. That's the new Eagles uniform right there. There it is. We wanted to see what the new Eagles uniform was looking like. There it is. That's it. But, no, the players, are, they're pouring in. They're coming in. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll have more videos and pictures of guys coming in later today in my later video. Um, but, listen, I'm just so glad that football's back. Now, these guys are going to have to come in. They're going to have to take their conditioning tests and all those things. They will be on the field practicing tomorrow. And I, I think tomorrow is the day. I, I, I really believe that tomorrow is the Kelly Green Day. Uh, they probably want these players in, and they're probably going to wear it. Um, will, will my conspiracy theory be right that it's going to be more than just an alternate release? I don't know. It, that you know, Look, the whole revamp of, of the jerseys are coming. They're coming, and if it's not this year, it will definitely be next year. I don't believe that they're going to sit there and, 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 and keep the same thing for another few years. It's definitely coming. Like, I wore the shirt today because I wanted to show the word mark. The, this new word mark does, does not fit the current logo. It just doesn't work. So there is a revamp coming. Now, when I say a refresh or a revamp, doesn't necessarily mean it's Kelly Green or they're going to put this symbol. It's still maybe Midnight Green, but I, I do think a refresh is coming of some sort. Maybe not this year. Maybe it'll be next year, but it's definitely coming. But uh, we're going to talk about that when the time comes. Uh, so I will have another video out later today. Look for that. And then uh, tomorrow I should be streaming. My goal is to be on by 2. Uh, I, I should be on by 2 Eastern um, like I said, I will not be missing that one. I've already made plans with people at work, so it's covered. Uh, today was a little bit sketchy, though, but tomorrow through Friday, we'll, we will be good to go. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a ding but Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. So one thing I forgot to mention, but the Eagles actually worked out a safety today. They actually worked out DeAndre Houston Carson at the Nova Care Complex today. Um, he was with the Chicago Bears, and apparently the Eagles tried to sign him off the Bears practice squad in 2017. He was a standout on special teams, and so... This is the first time we really hearing that the Eagles have worked out any other safeties, but uh, it's whether they sign him or not, they're obviously eyeing the safety position as well as I think they're eyeing that wide receiver position. Uh, two places where they've been working out players. Uh, so keep that in mind. But they worked out DeAndre Houston Carson. Don't know much else about him other than um, we'll see if they sign him. With that said, Denzel Washington out.